Okay, we're going to start working on your shipwreck coast in just a minute, but to start, we're going to think about your D minor scale, which is the key that the shipwreck coast is in. So let's think up your scale. You're going to go D, E, F natural, G, that's on the D string, on the A string. It's going to be A, B natural, C sharp, D. That's your high two finger pattern. It's a red finger pattern. On the E string, it's E, F natural at the nut, whole step G, whole step A, half step B flat. Walk down four, three, two, one. We're gonna stretch over to a four, three, two, one. On the A string, you have all whole steps between your fingers. That's really important to know. Okay, then you're gonna go, oh, you're gonna get down to your B flat. Then you're gonna go four, three, low two, regular one, end on a D. Here we go. walk down your scale. Reach over. Whole steps. Low one. Reach over for four. Now without talking, play along with me. before you start to practice your shipwreck coast. All right, so you're in three, four times. So you're gonna be counting to three for every measure. And let's just start at the beginning. And I might take breaks and um, walk you through some of this stuff. Okay, so you have accented notes. So make sure your first finger is really into the stick. So it should be pressing down the stick into the hair. And as soon as you press and pull the note, and then release the pressure like that. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. Two, three, bow circle. And rest. And one. Rest. Rest. Rest, rest, rest. Rest. Right at the end, starting to measure 13, it's walking you right down the scale, the D minor scale. It's important that you grab each of those accents really cleanly and clearly. Um, okay, I think that's all we need to do for that. Starting to measure 17. One, two, three. So for that section, um, just making sure that you're counting correctly for your eighth notes. So the first measure 17 is one, two, three, and one, two, three. The other thing to notice is in measure 25, you start with piano, and then you're going to crescendo up to a forte, which happens in measure 28. Um, get this really beautifully in tune, too, starting in measure 31. <laughs> That's first finger right across the strings from each other. Okay, good. Measure 41 going forward. One, two, play. One, two. Rest. 
Crest. Crest. Two, three, one. Rest. Okay, let's stop right there. So what to notice about 41, you do have a crescendo and then a day crescendo there. And then you're gonna retake your bow on measure 47. Make that nice and, and into the string. That'll be beautiful. Okay, starting in measure 59. I do have a page turn, but I think I can remember those two measures. 59. One, two, three. Rest, rest. Mm. Rest. Rest. Scale. about that. Now I do notice that your tempo changes and gets slower there at measure 67. So you'll really need to watch your conductor for that tempo change right there. Um, so there's a lot of dynamic contrast in this section, right? You start pianissimo, so make sure you're having a light touch and pulling the bow closer to the fingerboard. Kind of a gentle sound, right? Then, 79, 75, crescendo. So you'll want to accentuate the crescendos and all of the dynamics. This will sound really great if you can go from forte to a mezzo piano and measure 85. we start with a piano marking and a down up up with a piano with a crescendo here we go <gasps> high two forte oh one two three Tardando, so you're going to have a, a bigger slowdown than I just played, so you'll make sure you follow your conductor for that. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like a recap back to the beginning, those ideas with the accented notes. Um, there you have um, measure 179, you have the sport sandos. So it's like a an accented note times three. So really you're going to dig really giving it an extra punch. So um, what I think would be helpful now, now that we've kind of walked through the piece, is if I check the tempo. It's going to start at uh, 60. So let's just hear what 60 sounds like. So one, two, three, one, bum, 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 
That seems super slow to me. And then the 54 is even slower than that. So um, I'm not sure exactly. So I'll, I'll play the whole thing for you. And um, not exactly sure how fast your conductor will take it, but I'll play it um, maybe a little bit slower than I was before. One, two, play. Rest, rest, rest. Rest. measures three beats per measure watch your conductor here you come in at 41 <laughs> Peace.